Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy episode 21, recorded on May 3rd, 2018. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. And I'm Agent Soho. And uh, we got a lot of uh, interesting and cool ingress topics to discuss today um chicago there's some changes there that you need to be aware of before well next year so maybe not really soon but in a while we'll talk about that as well as some uh osiris sequence stuff and uh anomaly hotels a bunch of anomaly stuff and missions there's a change coming down the pike uh and then uh, maybe some codes. We got some website updates and uh, we'll definitely get into that GDPR. So let's go ahead and kick this pig. Well, wait, no, don't kick the pig because that'll get us in trouble, I think. <laughs> With the Harmony Safari so, Park. Is it coming down the pike or is it coming down the pipe? The pipe? Like, pike like a car, right? Isn't that like. A, well, pike? a pike, I thought was was for like spear fishing. It's like a uh, it's a pole weapon. Well, that's another like, word for it. Coming down the pipe is more like you know Mario. He goes down the pipe, or garbage goes down the garbage disposal down the pipe, or like toilets. I don't know. So <laughs> I guess you make me look this crap up. The idiom meaning soon to happen or appear was originally coming down the pike. Not Ooh. coming down the pipe, but both forms are now widely used and understood. And coming down the pike, the noun pike is short for turnpike, which is a broad road, sometimes a toll road. And this is from the grammarist. Down the pike, down the pipe. The usage of. And uh, so, yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Well, we're coming down both of them then. The pike and All the right. pipe, and we're kicking the pig, stabbing it with a pike, and eating it for din dins. <laughs> Sweet. That's a good that's a good intro right there. Let's keep that one. Okay. That's a keeper. <laughs> so okay. So not doing it over again? No. Nope. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> well, wh- what 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 you been up to? I'm doing uh, my uh what was it? Porky the pig. What 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 you been up to? I've been blowing up downtown. So uh, I drove through downtown twice this week, um, and I I was blowing it up. And man, that thing is always blue. I, we always say it at every episode, and it just it remains. It's it was completely blue. Everything was webbed up, com- like so nice and tight, but everything was like level ones. So the whole thing was like a sea of orange. Like all the all the resonators was just orange. I was like, wow, one or two eights is just gonna blow everything That's up, and fun. it did. Uh, I just drove through and just went boom, boom, boom. Got tons of AP. Whoever that was, it was a new guy too, I think, in town who was rather low level. But whoever it was was very meticulous and and actually probably took a very long time. Sorry about blowing it up, but hey, that's the game. Um, But uh, well, they can come rebuild, huh? They can come rebuild, make some AP, and. Right. So what you should do is just build it back up with a bunch of like, you know, rare shields and crap to make it really difficult for them to tear down to rebuild until they just give up and quit playing. (laughs) Isn't that a sportsman like way to play? Yeah. (laughs) And kill the guardian too. Oh wait, no. So don't go there. Uh I ran out of resonators. I'm completely out. Like right now, I think I might have a couple of level ones and twos because I hacked a little bit, just random stuff on my way home today. Um low levels and some neutrals <laughs> because I literally, when I blew up downtown, I, I was putting a resonator on everything. And I was just like, just spamming. Like I, I don't just hang one. I usually just spam it and just throw everything I got, whatever. So I am just out. 
Um, luckily, right before the show, I found uh, on Reddit somebody dropped a code, and now I have um, like ten of everything <laughs> now, nice. ten eights and stuff like that. We'll give you that code later too. Actually, right here on the show, it's still good. Um, but anyway, um, I might have a new area of town to conquer, what? to own. Which is pretty cool. I'm not going to tell you what area it is um, <laughs> yet. You'll figure it out if you're local. But um, I am uh, I might be getting a new job. So I've been um, self-employed or freelance or, uh, or in other words, unemployed or, or whatever you want to call different, it. That's different, I think. Uh, for the last decade, for, for the last 10 years, I haven't had um, like a full-time job, like go somewhere and report for duty kind of thing in 10 years. And I think I'm about to get a new one on Monday. So that means I'll be somewhere new. Um, I'll be uh, uh, getting money to um, uh, be able to like get out again and like get another car. Like me and Kim, we're down to one car and it's been like really tough to get out and do anything. So, um, and just before the show, um, Kat and the, um, and one of the many uh, chat rooms we have going on right now asked me, why don't you go on adventures with Brent anymore? And I think all that's about to change. Um, I'm, uh, in fact, uh, me and Brent will probably be going to lunch a lot <laughs> during, because I'm kind of down where you work, kind of nice. closer anyway. And our favorite uh, restaurant is nearby too. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of coolness. And by the next podcast episode, I'll let you know if I got the job or not. <laughs> Sweet. Well, good luck. So, Thanks. <laughs> um, and I guess lastly, just a um, just something I noticed. Uh, July 30th has come and gone. Uh, that was um, That's really good. Of- You've learned calendars. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, that was a date that was uh, like predicted by a lot of people uh, about like when uh, Ingress Prime was going to be released. And it obviously did not get released. So all the people that guessed July 30th, and and now here we are we're in uh uh may may right or was that yeah so april bye bye may hello so is it gonna be may or is it gonna be june or is it gonna be the end of may may 30th or is it gonna be next year oh god I don't know. I, I mean, I hope not. I hope they start doing a public beta sometime soon or something. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, soon. yeah. Mm-hmm. Soon, soon, soon. Mm-hmm. So what's old Agent Goonie guy been doing? Well, a whole bunch of like work and work. And I've been putting in like 12 hour days at uh, work. There's been some updates to some of the software we use. And I've just been having to uh, fix some stuff. And uh, that's finally, for the most part, uh, done. So I'm really happy to be able to record a show and, um, you know, do something besides just come home and and want to uh, sleep. So, been working on um, some website stuff. Um, we'll have some new stuff launching. We, we have another badge for this episode. So, we'll get the code <laughs> out at the uh, end of the episode, I guess, tonight. And uh, we're working on other ideas for some other cool badges. Like some of them we we actually are working, well, not working with, but we have an affiliate now on the website, uh, GoCard, which I thought was a really cool affiliate because they do these uh, cards. Like they have one for Boston. So I, that's, and that's how I found it because I was looking at things for our family to do while we're in Boston. And instead mm-hmm. of like having to pay for like each of the uh, museums or, or like the aquarium and things like that, you can just buy one card and it gets you in all the things and it's you know much cheaper than buying it separately uh so we have a link to that and if you if you're signed in and use the link you'll actually get a badge if you uh buy one from them so um we'll have more details about that as we get closer to boston and stuff and maybe some of the other anomalies that have a a go-kart in the area i know chicago does and we'll be talking about chicago as well um, I did. It it was in the so past. Wait, this one, this one's just the one for Boston, right? Yeah, this, this is a link card yeah. just for Boston. Okay, yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. So like, you just go like if you want to like soak in the city, you just get a card and then boom, boom, boom. You can do all like all these different things while you're there. Actually, yeah. that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, that, that is pretty cool. And okay, so to get like them that. uniques, like now instead of having to like try to get into each one and stuff, you can just. Uh, 
you know, get the card. And they have it for a bunch of different cities. Uh, and so you can actually go there and find it for those other cities there. Um, but before I started having to work a lot and we had to kind of push the podcast and pretty much skipped a week, um, I did get to uh, be involved in a couple cool things. First, the restocking portal uh, was in Nashville. So I got hit up there. And so I am not out of resonators because oh, it was just madness to see the amount of equipment that, that dropped out of each of those hacks. It was just like, that's just crazy. So... It was, was like really 30 cool. or 40 things or like 50 no, things? No, like 200 plus things. What? The, like Because you're hack? getting 50 resonators and, and 50 XMPs, oh uh, VRLAs, God. like just crazy amounts of stuff. Um, and I sh I'll show nasty. you a pic, pic uh, when we go to lunch tomorrow. <laughs> I'll keep bringing that up and you'll be like, was I doing lunch with Brent tomorrow? I don't remember <laughs> ever talking about that. But really cool, you know, Arctic Rebel? The, the gentleman mm -hmm. who sent a shout thing earlier, I got to meet him. He was in Nashville. Um, so we, and we, we've talked about trying to get together a few other times, um, but he lives further west in, in Tennessee. So uh, it's not as close to get to meet, but for this, it was, it was really cool. So got to meet him. He's a really cool guy. Uh, cool. And um, his girlfriend, too. She was really cool. And, of course, a bunch of uh, Nashville folks were there, and they're always cool, and, and it's really good to see them. Though, every time I feel like I get there and it's like, oh, now I've got to go. It was good to, you know, do this op or, you know, hack this portal four times. Uh, we did get to go to lunch, but then it was just like I had to jet after, after that because uh, we had an op that day, and I had to drive all the way down to Tuscaloosa uh, to oh, uh, wow. drop a blocker. Um, and and Dewey J was asking in the chat if uh, we were involved in, in that field that uh, covered Huntsville. And that's that's really all I did was drive down there and, and drop a blocker. Um, so it was it was really interesting. Uh, you can look for the uh, sit rep around uh, places, Cthulhu. Uh, really cool operation. Bunch of uh, awesome agents did incredible jobs to to get that whole field up. And I wish I had all the stats here. I actually, well, uh, well I'll talk about that some other time. Um, I had it's it's kind of, it's not really secret information, but it's not information for it's it's really E and L information. So I'm. Oh, okay. There's no reason to talk about it on the podcast right now. Anyway, so uh, I feel like there's a lot of stuff here and I've uh, been talking forever. But I do want to mention a big a thank you to Agent Dewey J, who is uh, helping us out on the website. He's going to be the admin for the resistance group because I just felt it was kind of weird me being the admin of the resistance group. Oh, so no. um, I sent that over to him and I dropped out of the group. So. Thank you so much. That uh, that helps frees up some time too, because um, having to sit there and approve people joining groups is not always fun when you've got like ten groups to do it from. Mm, nice. uh, so that's all my talky talky, and and uh, are we ready for something else? So y'all talky talky? Yeah, we are. God, that may not believe in you, but I do. I super believe in you, Tad Cooper. <laughs> sit, 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 situation report. Oh, we got a situation here. Good thing we have a report about it. <laughs> because <Sorry>. situations <laughs> without reports are no situations <laughs> at all. Yeah, 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 that's what a wise man once said. Yeah. Um... And uh, and we do. What are, gonna, do what are we gonna do? Oh yeah, the well, news. Yeah, That's yeah. Cute. And we've got something new we've been doing. We we did it for the last episode, but there's probably people listening that uh, don't know we're doing this now. But on our website, the Agent Academy Podcast, we're actually posting the news things that we're going to be talking about. At least most of them. Uh, and then you can actually post there and and make comments that will we can uh, talk about on the show as well. So uh, do that as well as the other various methods. What would you like to discuss first, Agent Soho? Let's uh, talk about. Let's talk uh, about uh, the free buffet. The free buffet. Yeah. You like free buffets? I do. You like Bobby um, buffet? 
Uh, who's Bobby Buffet? W- 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 water Boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that his name? Bobby Buffet. Bobby, Bobby Buffett. Um, you like Jimmy? Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, he's pretty good stuff. Um, so uh, this is the the Faction Hotels um, for uh, Linz, Austria. This is um, uh, this is the Cassandra Prime. This is the one that's coming up. Um, first, right in uh, Ju- um, is it July? July twenty fifth. Uh, twenty eighth. No, or <laughs> I thought it was a uh, July twenty fifth. Anyway, the Faction Hotel has been announced for Lens Austria, and I get um, you an eight. And uh, basically, um, uh, you can get some good deals on the hotels right now, and uh, there's apparently. A free buffet. There's word about free buffets. So l- this one's for Lens Austria. Is that correct? Yeah. That's uh, yes. August 25th. But it's it's part of... Um, uh, there's also July 28th is where the other ones will be happening. Mm-hmm. So there's there's two dates. Uh, I want to go. Ta-ta. I totally want to go. To Lens Austria? Yeah. These are nice hotels, oh, too. Like... Uh, courtyard marriott and well it looks like from what people were saying um at least where i was reading that it was a pretty good deal for those hotels too so not only Mm -hmm. are they getting these hotels that are the faction hotels and uh you know the local contacts aren't having to deal with it as much i assume um they're getting a, a good deal on them so you're getting a good price and you're getting a free buffet so i kind of like this change that they're they're doing this yeah, 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 definitely. Um, also, uh, Osiris, Osiris stuff. You know, Osiris, our buddy, Osiris, the god of the dead. Yeah, our rebirth, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, with death the and rebirth. Skin. Yeah, we talked about it last episode. So if you want to know about Osiris, uh, go back to last episode. But mm-hmm. uh, they did release the uh, basically the um, I don't know why they had to do it, but it's good. They released the four quarters uh, that will make up the Osiris sequence from uh, 2018 to 2019, uh, naming officially the first section, the the two dates, uh, Cassandra Prime. And if you go by the video, I believe we put we uh, talked about it last week. They did a video where they're talking about all the um, things. We we got the names there, so. If they go in order, which kind of makes sense of how they said it, and they actually did the dates kind of or the segments in the video, then it'll be Cassandra Prime, uh, the first one coming up. And then after that, Recursion Prime, that'll be uh, Q4, 18, and then Q1 of 19 will be Darsana Prime. uh, And then Q2 of 19 with a date change, which we'll get to next, uh, will be Abaddon, Abaddon. Ab- Abaddon or something? Abad- Abaddon? Abaddon. <laughs> if you watch the video, it's not any of the ways that I <laughs> right. imagined you would say it. Uh, and that's They're the like one in Cliff. Chicago. What? Ab- Ab- that's the uh, Chicago anomaly that was set in May of t- 2019. Uh, so it's... Uh, I guess Niantic had to change it. They, they said, due to circumstances beyond Niantic's control, the date of the Chicago May 18th, 2019 anomaly will be changing to May 25th, uh, 2019, next freaking year. The proposed anomaly faction POCs have been consulted and blah, 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 and they got it figured out. Niantic realizes this is Memorial Day weekend in the United States and weighed the pros and cons heavily about it before uh, making the final decision. And that's the twenty fifth so, is um, the memorial is day. the actual memorial day. Yeah, yeah. So, and yeah. Um, I think what it is the reason being is that there's two other pretty big conferences going on uh, that same weekend, uh, where right. it's like you know, and and we're not talking about like a couple thousand people. We're talking uh, conferences. Both of them total will have like over a hundred thousand people. Uh, oh, so I imagine what probably having this is all speculation i'm usually wrong when i do this so i'll do it anyway <laughs> the, they probably were calling to get their hotels and they're like no you can't you know grab all the rooms in our hotel because they're already booked for these conferences or we've got that coming up so we can't make these deals or they couldn't get the good prices uh either they couldn't get them to go down because they're like no they'll fill up whether you 
you know, do it or not. So we're not going to give you a good deal on it. Um, right. So I think it's, uh, you know, anytime there's change, especially when Niantic does it, people are going to, uh, I don't mean to put this in, in this way, but they're going to cry about it. And, you know, right. No matter what it is. And they'll be like, I already bought a plane ticket. And it's like, no, you didn't. It's, it's a year away. Like you're not buying plane tickets yet. I don't even know if they sell plane tickets. And if you are, you need to wait three months before that's when the best prices are. Mm. So this saves you some money in the long run, probably. But, uh, it, it's actually, I think a good uh, deal and, and I'm glad they did it. So uh, kudos to them for not just going, well, okay, we'll pick these four hotels and they may be out of room, you know, oh, yeah. that'd you be a terrible there. weekend, you know? So cool. Well, good. 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 Uh, also we have in the, um, uh, a message, a message from Andrew Krug. Sorry, folks. Since we had an AMA two weeks ago, I'll be traveling a lot this week and thus unable to devote time to follow up on questions. There will be no AMA this week or next. We'll get back to the reg regular schedule within doing things the first of the month starting in June. Thanks for understanding. And goodbye forever well, I, no, he, didn't say, he didn't say that that um, would be weird <laughs> i'm like why <laughs> come back <laughs> no, so uh okay so yeah in june cool that works that works man get those questions next month they better be awesome they better be freaking awesome because you got a whole month to think about them <laughs> so um yeah and that was it Done so with the everybody get your que questions ready get them ready yeah. are you ready do you have a question? I I um, I wasn't asking you. Oh, okay. No, just <laughs> <laughs> I do for uh, the next segment. Okay, wait, wait, we're not done yet. Oh, we got uh, also another uh, change uh, oh. coming up that they announced for mission days. Oh, yeah. So uh, a big thing they're changing is that they aren't going to be using the scanner. It's going to be like a, a paper thing that they're going to be handing out. And there's all, all conjecture. Um, again, everybody's usually wrong when they do that, but um, let us know what you, what you think it is. I know we had a, a listener in uh, telegram channel, put their idea, their um, reasoning by behind why they did it. So uh, let, let us know what you think. And when we get to that segment, you'll know what they think. <laughs> and what does Eric think? That works. I think, I, it's, think I, I think it's a cool opportunity to do something where, like when you go there for a mission day, you know, if they gave you some cool, like, uh, handout with all the portals that you need to go hack, it, it'd be a nice little, uh, you know, memory of the day. Oh, yeah. Souvenir. Yeah, that's the word. Souvenir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can yeah. Put it down your pike. Is that the right way to say it? I'm not sure. Put, put it, it down your, your pipe pike. and smoke it. it. <laughs> I think I'm getting some of these confused. <laughs> so let's just kick on that pig. Yeah, let's kick that pig. And kick it straight into something. Where's that button? What? What's in the capsule? 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 I'll tell you what's in the capsule. So uh, yeah, all over the floor. If you're new, then uh, well, this uh, segment is for you. To uh, let us know what you want in the game or what you want different, what do you want changed, maybe uh, what they should be adding in Ingress Prime, maybe someone's listening, uh, whatever. But we always have ideas each week about what, um, how we should modify this here scanner device. Um, and uh, here, I'm going to start us off because this one's a little bit different this week. So I have a little portal theory. Okay. All right. Can there be true balance in the universe? No. <laughs> I'll expand on this. So what if there was some way to address those, those people living in rural areas with little to no portals? Right. 
but at the same time, address those who live in dense areas with an abundance of portals. So if you, if, if, if there was some mechanic to balance the two, so, um, it, so for an example, and this is this might be a terrible example. In fact, it'd be a game breaking uh, thing. But as an example, um, you have uh, uh, let's call him um, let's call him Billy 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 Joe Billy Bob. I don't know. All right, let's call him Hacksaw. That's awesome. Hacksaw. Name. Okay, we got Agent Hacksaw, Hacksaw who lives um, in Arkansas. Um, because I was born in Arkansas. There's nothing in Arkansas. You can drive for hours and literally you won't see anything. Um, so Hacksaw lives in Arkansas and there's um, no portals in his city. In fact, there's only one he can drive about 30 minutes and there there's a, uh, very there's a post specific. office. A post office that okay. has been closed for 10 years, but it's still a portal. I've heard That's this all story he before. So I think I know who Hacksaw is, but keep going. Okay, that's it, right? Now on the other side, you have um um uh, New York have, City. New York um, City. Uh Tokyo. How about that? Even it, oh, it's God, a yeah. super packed. You have um uh Mr. Yang over here. Mr. Yang, he lives in in uh in Tokyo and it is insane. Like you cannot go anywhere without being in, just packed full of like there's portals everywhere. You're in range of uh, 20 portals right now. They're way too close, probably against the That's terms of service or something to even even have that happen. Okay, so now if you, you have hacks all over here, he drove he drove so long and he just one little stupid hack. He gets a couple of little pieces of crap and then he drives home. So. To be a true balance, once he does a hack, he gets he gets a ton of stuff, and maybe he gets to the hack faster, or he gets more stuff, or something happens. And then w when you have uh, Mr. Yang over here, he's he's balanced down, he's pushed down. See, Yin Yang, right? You got the ups and I the downs. I thought his name was Hacksaw. <laughs> so uh, maybe I don't know. He should have been Agent Yin. Yin, <laughs> Yin and Yang. There you go. Uh, Yin Hacksaw over here. So. I don't know. Like, that's a terrible example. I would never want it to be able to, like, oh man, now it's unfair. This guy lives over here, and I don't know. Well, not lower, but yeah. I, I mean, I think there is something they could do. I mean, I think even, I don't know, like uh, raise the XP or the AP that you get in you know rural areas to kind of match the same amount. Okay, um, there's. 10% less portals or 50% or something, you know, raise it, see how it, how it works. Mm -hmm. And, uh, maybe that would get some, um, agents that live just outside to come there and, uh, farm in that area and start submitting portals because they're like, Oh, this is a good place, uh, to farm AP because you get more here. Right. Right. Um, I don't know. Right. So, so it would, it would make, it would give incentive to go, to those rural areas for some sort of advantage right. and then so yeah so so there's there's things that bring you there uh and then there's things that w take you out of of the big areas like new york city and stuff like that new Chicago, york whatever. city you know because I, like i i've heard a lot so many times like I'll, I'll see on twitter and it's like man you guys are playing that game that you know man you know like a lot of people don't know what it is they're following me and they're like oh that's you're doing a podcast on that thing you know i tried that game but we, our town only has like one and i gotta drive like literally his name was like bubba hacksaw like it could have really been his name but like uh, uh we have a friend in new zealand that's his story as well He's like, man, I really want to play, but there's nothing to do. Like literally, like you could charge something if you had a key, <laughs> and you don't even have a key. You can't do anything, right? Yeah. Like, so I don't know. Um, it it would be great, like if, of course, Ingress Prime kind of addresses that because the advantage is just being in a location where there's more stuff, and that's fine. You know, get up and move. That's the name of the game. Yes, don't just sit at home, but but always move to a dense area like why should that be the thing like why not go up on a mountain where there's nothing like how about there's something there for you though you know i don't know yeah something i mean yeah because i mean you know the reason 
for going to those places may not be as I, I, I was going to say important, but you know, some of them are important. I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's those out of the way places that kind of make it a special thing to have. And, and something like, I'm going to keep this key because, you know, I don't know many people who have been to that portal and uh, that's kind of cool game play wise. You're just getting uniques is it. Uh, so, I, I think there could be some kind of cool mechanic about especially out of the way portals that maybe the longer a portal's untouched, the more AP it gives, the more MU it gives, the more stuff it drops, right? Uh, so right. if a portal's not hit for a year, man, it could drop out just like one of these resi- supply portals, right? Like then people would be like going and looking for these places. And while they're there, like my thing is like, get people out and moving to these places that they normally wouldn't be and then incentivize them to submit more portals in those areas and then get those portals into OPR to get reviewed and approved as quick, quickly as possible. And mm-hmm. I think there's some things like that that you could do. So I think that's, I think it's a great idea. Agent Soho. Yeah. I, I liked your idea of like um, a restock portal. Like, like if, if there's a portal that's, that sits too long, that, is is not like you know miles uh, away from any other portal it gets strong it gets stronger and stronger and stronger which just gives you so much output right Mm -hmm. you know like i like that idea um of just like oh man we better put some portals around it or else it'll get like so big (laughs) like it'll freaking you know i don't know like i don't know there's something there though Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I guess I would call that portal theory, though. It's just an idea. There's probably a really cool. I see some um, some good comments in the chat room too. If you're watching YouTube right now, we have the uh, the you can see what everybody's saying. So, or if you're right. watching on okay. Twitch, you can see it too, or on Periscope. Periscope, or the like ten other places. But a lo- <laughs> lovely idea. I, I feel bad that mine's a lot shorter than that, and it doesn't get you out moving. It does a- absolutely the opposite. This is for the the AXM uh, vault. It's the AAXM vault. Okay. And so this would be an item that you would buy, like a key locker, right? Like the key lockers you can buy. Um, but you can plant this. So you go to a location where you want this this vault to be, and then you plan it, and then you have to power it up by feeding it XM and a lot of XM. So you, you it like won't work right away. You'll have to actually go fill up some XM, uh, maybe use some uh, cubes, uh, maybe even add some time to it because you don't want it something where people can just put down and pick up and go away. Um, right. And then um, it has a certain amount of storage, a lot of storage. You're the only one who can see it. You're the only one who can access it. Um, oh. But um, it slowly decays. And when it decays uh, below a certain amount, you can't open it. You can't get into it and get get the stuff that you've put into. Uh, oh, and maybe even things start uh, dying out of it if you don't keep it above. Like if you let it go to zero. Like it doesn't all drop out, but almost like the reverse of a quantum cube, right? So like, oh, okay. if you don't keep it fed with XM, it will slowly like boop. Oh boop. yeah, so it's decaying really fast, huh? Um, well, no, no. I think it would decay probably fairly slowly. Okay. But so, if it gets so, all the way to zero, then it starts like every few days an item might poof out of it. Oh, so this thing is staying for days. Oh, no, it's for as long as you want. Right, oh. so you keep it. It's your oh, okay. vault, like so you can keep it at home. So instead of, um, oh. right. See, for some reason, I was thinking this might be something useful that you would take to an anomaly or a farm, and you want to have like a place to store stuff f- temporarily while you're hacking for a few hours. But if it's a permanent thing, like it always is there, and as long as you charge it up. Um, I, I like that because yeah, it would be kind of your own personal vault at home, but I think I like the faster decay or it takes, uh, well, no, you, you said it has a, a lot of XM. So yeah. So it's just a ton to charge it completely. Yeah. Yeah. Is, you just need to good, keep yeah. it from getting to zero. And then even right, if it gets right. to zero, you just can't get into it. Right. And you, you have to start charge losing items after all. And that's just, uh, I don't know, that's a jerk thing to add on probably. So maybe you <laughs> just can't get into it. I was saying like you can't get into it. I'm like, well, you know, 
a lot of times you might just want to leave that crap there for a long time anyway. And so you'll just feed it back up when, um, you know, you decide you want to open it. Right. <laughs> so it's something to keep you on it, you know, keeping it fed. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. Like to me, it's like having the storage is good to be able to throw some stuff and some gear. But then again, it's like, like I want some ideas. Uh, so everybody send these in ideas of items and things you can do when you're at work or at home that give you um, stuff when you can't get out. Because I think yeah. that's something that the game's kind of lacking, and it's not something that you can just do forever, but something, you know, g give something you can do at home. Throw us a bone. And I don't know about this one now, because just you know, having to recharge it, it's like, oh, well, I can recharge keys while I'm at home. <laughs> 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 Whatever. Just recharge some crap. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. I liked it. Okay. I liked it. So we, we got some submissions in. Um, the first one here is from Agent Dewey J, who says, uh, here's my uh, what's in the capsule idea. Uh, ready for a little chaos? Uh, what about a link bender? Does this go with the oh. link laser? <laughs> uh, installed on a portal. This is the link bender. Uh, it pulls nearby links towards towards it or repulses them. The higher the level of the bender, the more it bends the link. Make a positive bender, sucks the link in, or a negative bender, repulse the link away. I would also suggest a bender will never pull a link into the portal it is on, but can get really close. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, hmm. like, is that saying pulls it to, like, another portal? Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, uh, so you have uh, the higher, higher level of the bender, the more it bends uh, the link, making positive bender. Uh, let's see. Um, so, I mean, I think that's kind of, that's a really cool idea. So that's really changing the whole um, physics of links. Then to be able to to bend them, <laughs> that is really weird. I, I guess I hadn't really thought about that. Oh, um, I, he's in the chat and he says uh, bends it to miss things along the trajectory. Oh, I see. Yeah, right, right. Okay. So it doesn't hit them pigs when you're. <laughs> so you could go around a really like hard a small field or to destroy a portal or something that would have. Um, like, you know, like a blocker, you know, like somebody like a little micro, there. yeah, like a micro blocker and stuff, or yeah. I guess if it was a really powerful bender, um, maybe get around like, uh, a big thing. I mean, I, I guess if I saw something like that, it would have to be a really, uh, like we're talking like a, th up to three degrees of a bend, you know what I mean? Like a three degree angle or a two degree. I don't you know, like that math like, stuff. Because if you're like bending stuff to like nine degrees and forty five degree angles, everything's just going at all crazy. There's no way to play anymore, really. No more triangles. Because then you would have a hard time even locating origins of like links, right? You'd be following this, and you're like, "Where am I going? Wait a minute! It just took a turn. What, now I'm going this way." You know, I uh, think it's interesting though. Well, and I think people would use it more for uh, blockers and stuff. Like, oh, I can't yeah. get out there to to block this crap, so I'm going to just uh, bend it and um, kind of go on an all night bender. Uh, but I do like this idea of like. Almost like popping the link uh, to a different portal. Like, is that oh, really yeah. bizarre? Like, <laughs> it's the link popper. No, that doesn't. Jumper. <laughs> popper. The link. Ah, uh, no. Resistance would hate that, right? It's like a, a frog or something. Grass. <laughs> um, anyway. No. Um, I like jalapeno poppers. I do, too. I do, too. I think there's uh, something there. I don't think it's a link laser. <laughs> well he said ready for a little chaos at the beginning and yeah that would I be do like chaos it would be chaotic um but really cool i don't know <laughs> you know you know just as a, a side note some of these crazier wacky ideas like a, a way for like niantic to test this stuff without having private t beta test groups like nobody really likes that yeah i mean i don't think just but, doing an event 
Yeah, it's to do events or just to have a very limited time weapon. Just like just like Wendy's, right? Here's a we got a quadruple burger coming out. Limited, you know, it's only here for four weeks and then it goes away. Probably tastes like crap, but hey, don't worry about it. It's out the door. In now you're weeks. making me hungry. Right, but like a, a limited time link bender or link laser, yeah. and you can only use it. And, but then it's like you know, it's like that quadruple burger. If people loved it so much, really? hey, it'll come back again. Oh. Maybe it'll even be permanent. You know? Yeah, or maybe they'll just do a McRib, and McDonald's <laughs> yeah. will sue them. And that stupid thing comes back too much. Don't call that thing a stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you to call a McRib stupid? I don't even think it's meat. It's not. No, it's something shaped it's the, and processed it's the, and formed it's the ribs into a, a fake a rib. Rat. rat ribs. <laughs> hey, I don't care. It's, it tastes good. <laughs> uh, so we have another submission this? from uh, Agent Finnegan M. Oh, he says, okay, here we go. Here we go. A new mod that would absorb the XM coming off the portal and put it back into resonators to slow down the decay rate. Oh, this would allow the portal to sustain a longer existence without recharge. The decrease in decay could run 5% for the first, uh, drop to 2% for the second, 1% for the third, and 0.5% for the fourth, and Math. so forth. <laughs> it's smaller, hurting. smaller, smaller. Uh, that would uh, that would 8%, 8.5% slowdown yeah. rate if all four slots were used, which is a little more than 50%. Whoa. Okay, this mod could also work similar to the transmuter, and with the extra XM, it is absorbing, allow the potential of extra power cubes, Lawson cubes, and Circle K cubes. Okay. So... Um, it, uh, it, uh, okay. So it absorbs XM coming off of portals and puts it back into the resonators, slowing it down. So this is a way to extend the life of a, um, of a portal, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, slowing down the decay rate with the, um, Basically, with the expense of just the XM coming off of it, I mean, it will go away though. Like, I mean, there's only so much XM coming out of a portal before it regenerates. And what was that every 30 minutes or something like that? Or More matter. I don't know. I, I forget. That's I used to know Wikipedia that number. Is for. But it does it does refresh every now and then. But I I, I guess like if the math is correct, if it was a mod that could sit there and eat the XM. Um, it it could. I'd be fine with uh, it, kind of almost generating, like making the portal generate more XM to like feed it. Like I'm not worried so much about like how much the portal makes, right? Uh, because you know then you have to deal with like okay if someone is around it and they're sucking up the XM and then it wouldn't be able to and then oh, someone then just has to down. stand there right and use XM to just completely nullify the the mod so i'm okay with like it not actually needing that xm like it could be a separate pool of xm or something that's um but i mean i do like this yeah. idea of feeding the resonators with this item whether it's like uh grabbing it off the xm um or just a, a cube in itself regenerating right like you said just like a Lawson cube, like sitting there yeah. with tanks and it just sits there and eats it and recharges itself. Yeah. But then once it's depleted, I guess that mod slot is just taken up with. Well, a, and, and a I don't think battery. it has to be depleted. Like I think whatever mechanic is making the XM or, or helping the portal create more XM so it can suck it up or, or it's just imaginary uh, XM is there that it's sucking up. Just, just I, cause I think it could be cool that it's like, well, if you really care about this portal and want to keep it for a long time, you could put four of these, you know, very rare. Um, we, we need to name these, whatever the, the Finnegan M, uh, XM module, um, All right. <laughs> that it could stay forever without you having to recharge or anybody. It would actually just feeds itself enough to just stay alive forever. Like I mean, you're I don't use know all about four slots because someone could walk by and like blow it up pretty easily if that's all it is because it has no protection. 
Oh, right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and what, what's it matter anymore? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> that's true yeah like why do you want to keep it alive so long <laughs> uh yeah okay i don't know i mean it's it's kind of a it's kind of a cool idea um it it's certainly an option it's it's a mechanic that hasn't been addressed ever i don't think really a self-charging portal there you go um the this last one here was um given in the chat room right before the show started and Busy this is actually kind of yeah, you want to do this one? Sure. Hizzybiz says, hey, guys, I have an idea for a power cube. It'll be like the Lawson or the Circle K power cube, but we're going to call it the Walmart power cube. No. Um, except it collects the XM that's late. Wait, hold up. This is. Did you do this on purpose? What did I do? It's it's um, similar. Um, oh, it is kind of similar to the one that we just read. Mod, yeah. Anyway, so the cube uh, collects the XM that's laying around until it holds the same as a Lawson or Circle K cube. It's, but this is the one that um, uh, wasn't this. Who was it that had that idea where it was like a cube that you could buy, purchase in the store, and it was always like kind of replenishing itself. And so it would work uh, like a Lawson cube, but it didn't go away. You just had to refill it. That was on the show earlier. Someone listened to the episodes. Um, so it sounds uh, okay. like this is an idea that people like. Multiple people are coming up with similar suggestions of having right. um, a cube that's um, giving you almost a bank, like a power supply. It's like walking around with the power sli supply that you do for your phone. So why not have one for your XM tank that can sit there? You can mm -hmm. recharge it with some more XM and uh, increase your XM bar. Yeah. On these things, basically. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. The people have spoken. So, Andrew, let's get on this. Talk to the people you need to talk to. Let's get it in before Prime. You know who they could talk to is, um, oh, uh, uh, Chiro. Chiro? Right? Remember, uh, Chiro? Charo? Made, Charo. Ay, 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 ay. Charo? Is that? They made the uh, Ingress Power Cube uh, that you can get on oh, Amazon. Yeah. You can buy it wherever. Remember that one? Um, if it's a sponsored item like a gotcha. power bank or a cube or a gas tank, whatever you want to call it. And you get one when you buy the charger. Or, well, I was just to say, oh. since all the other, you know, things in the game are named right. from a company, right? Yeah. Circle K Cube. You know, it could be something like that, you know, just like contact a bunch of uh, power bank, power brick, manuf uh, not manufacturers, but, right. you know, publisher or whatever you call them. Brand. Well, that's why I want some of these, uh, the AA Axum, XM vault. Let's get, let's get one that's... Uh sponsored by us but we don't pay anything to have it sponsored can we do uh, that hey, is that a thing a we can one. do <laughs> we'll pay with time and and love <laughs> i'm answered if you don't pay for it what would it be it would just be like a favor hey do us a favor <laughs> <laughs> let's name some crap to uh -huh. put in your game yeah yeah speaking of doing favors we had a favor by a uh, flavored player uh agent <laughs> Agent JBJ Blaze sent this in. Greetings, Agent. It is called the Agent Academy Podcast. Come online. <laughs> oh my god, it's so weird. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Jerby Jerblers. Awesome. Uh, okay, well, you know, we got some stuff from Peoples. Yes. We got uh, uh, we got a question here from uh, on uh, YouTube. A YouTube comment from Leap Tech. He said, hey, Eric and Brent, where did PGO Radio go? I really enjoyed it and wish it would come back. Uh, as there's been a lot of new updates. Well, it was a pretty cool show. We did uh, 10 episodes, 5, 8, 6. I don't Welcome remember. Welcome to your favorite hour of the week. It was our PGO favorite hour Radio, of the week. Your home for everything Pokemon Go. News, tips and tricks, community, and much, much more. So sit back, take a breath, because it's time to go, go, go. 
I think that pretty much explains it all right there, doesn't it? He's like, news. <laughs> news. That guy's great. We got that guy on uh, from Fiverr. He's a voice actor. <laughs> Try listening to that for five weeks in a row. You're pretty much done with it. You're like, yeah, no. <laughs> no, but there was another show. Like, oddly enough, uh, we were so unoriginal with this naming of this show. There was another show that came out called uh, Pokemon Go Radio. Uh, at the same time, like, how podcasts happen is you submit them to iTunes, and then they show up, uh, you know, a week or two later. Uh, possibly now it's a little bit faster. But it was just like... Um, we're named the same thing as this other show and it's like we released at the same time and uh you know it was also i don't i think after 10 weeks we were kind of slowing down on playing and um stuffs so yeah yeah a bunch of stuff happened it came up or something and you know usually we're on board with stuff that we started it was something that just made us stop and we're like well oh well we're gonna have to but uh but it was definitely cool and you know well, you with, moved with, that was one of the reasons too oh, yeah right? that's right i actually moved from madison yeah, yeah you're right so we were yeah, 10 minutes of, away and yeah and we're 30 or 40 <laughs> but yeah 50, lots of big things too. big big life changes were happening right yeah. right around there. but um you know, with with Ingress Prime about to come out and this new job that I have, and I I think that's going to bring us back to kind of doing adventures and shows and stuff. I don't know if we really need to have, stack another show on. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, let's no, make this I'm, one bigger and better. Well, you can listen to better. our uh, uh, Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Uh, yeah, podcast, you know, and there's that you know? too. We have no clue how that's going to be. Like, it well, might be the coolest thing in the world. We might be like, oh my freaking God, we need to do a show, you know? Well, okay. So, I'm, you know, the company that's going to be working with Ingress to make it port key uh -huh. games. Um, I, I hate even saying this, but so they came out with a game that I guess their first official game under port key. Uh, and it's a Harry Potter game. Um, and the monetization they put into it, I'm so freaking scared. They're going to do something similar with, uh, oh. with the other game. I mean, it's just absolutely wh horrible. It's, it's like, you just can't play, uh, unless you pay. So, uh, pay something mm -hmm. so you can uh, keep playing. And then it's like, and then you look at it and you're like, I, why would I even pay that? It's like, saves me an hour, but it's not like, I'm not going to pay a dollar just so I can play another, uh, you know, 15 minutes um, and then have to pay more. I, I don't know. It's just, it was, I was really sad to see. I hope they change it because um, oh, okay. the game yeah. could be really good, but it's just not uh, worth it with, with that um, mm. kind of mechanic in there. So, I, I just hope that Ingress tells them to not do that to the other one. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think they would be smart enough. And they have such a big fan base now with PGO and PGO, PGO Radio. Um, and uh, people would just be like, come on. You know, they'd be right. like a revolt happening. So, yeah. But anyway, anyway cool. Hey. That's it. That's that. what we got to that's say about that. Okay, so that's PGO Radio. Don't expect it back ever. Um, <laughs> matter of fact, we'd probably change the name and hire someone else to do a different... Because I can't... I have a hard time listening to that without uh, laughing at it. Anyway, <laughs> Alan Weber had a question on YouTube. It says, gentlemen, I really have to correct you. I guess it's not a question. It's more of a correction uh, for our dumb aces. Uh, he says, I have to correct you about the click old names you do not have to paying somebody to get a selectable name to look at a person's stats you can also select a person's name from the leaderboard in your region you can also select an agent's name from their name on photos and portals themselves so anybody that's ever had a photo approved for a portal and their name is located on that photo you can hold down on their name and selectively uh, view their profile Okay. And, I, and I don't know what we said. What did we say that? Uh... So, okay. So last week we, we talked about, um, you know, when people just, just ping people like, like right. today, like why tonight. they ping people. It was the newbie question. Right. Yeah. It was a new, right. new question of the week. And so during the show, like literally I'm looking at my scanner right now. Someone said, hi. 
to me. Um, right. And that was, you know, just so they could like look at my profile. And I get that a lot. And that's, so fu- that's fine. But then you said, hey, do you know the trick if you just, you know, put somebody's name and then put a dot after it? <laughs> they, they won't get the alert. Well, right after you said that last week, I got so many people put my putting a dot. Like literally, like, well, not so many. Maybe five or six people. That's still a lot to me. April Fools. I was like, whoa, look, people are actually doing it. And I would reply and I'd be like, Nope, doesn't seem to work, huh? <laughs> They're like, Well, worth a try. So um anyway, when we said, Well, it's kinda, you know, sucks that you can't do a search. Maybe that was my capsule idea last week was just to be able to search for somebody. But so anyway, Alan Weber is saying, well, that's not the case. You can actually find people's names through, uh, you know, their names on resonators um, through uh, por- uh, portal photos. Yeah. And while that's true, what we were actually getting at was the fact that I can't look at somebody who lives in, say, uh, I don't know, um, Quebec right right because they I, have I'm to not, be in your region you have to find the portal you have to have the key like there's right like how am i gonna like there. you know so anyway but but that is true i mean that that's like uh, that's a good way that we do it around town like i could look up brent i'll just look up at the leaderboard usually i'll go there first like is he there is he there nope he's not there dang he is, he's not doing crap okay well let me go over here and look let that's me look at his favorite true. church oh he's not there either what the hell no i'm just kidding <laughs> But, Check that um, damn Circle K. I know his ass has been down there <laughs> this week. Okay. By uh, anyway. Polar Pop. <laughs> uh, thank you, Alan Weber. That is good information, <laughs> though. So, thank you. I'm sorry Eric didn't bring that up last week. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> last one we have here is from Hillman Hazizi. Hazazi. Hazazi. Anyway, he says, I will talk about Osiris sequence. What? I will talk about Osiris sequence. Ingress Prime, next big sequel event, lore, maybe. I think Uh, some of this got cut off. Um, I think (laughs) they were talking about being on the show. Like they they were asking to be on the show to talk about this. Oh. And. Um, I mean, uh, we're, we're not opposed to having guests on the show, but, uh, we are opposed to having guests that we, ha- we don't know if they'll like come on here and just start, you know, yelling, uh, obscenities at, at, uh, <laughs> Eric and making weird pig references and, you know, just, just crazy stuff. Uh, but what you could do is call us at speakpipe.com slash agent Academy and leave a voicemail with your opinions on this and we'll play it on the show. Uh, Mm -hmm. So that's a way that uh, you can actually get on the show. And and I will tell you this. There's um, calls that I am going to go through tonight. They're older, so I think we've already done them. Um, but oh, okay. we, we check uh, every week to see if someone has called in. And if they have, we I, I can't think of one that we haven't really put on the show yet. Hmm. I mean, just as long as it, it's um, we can tell what you're saying and um, you don't make too many pig references. <laughs> Eric hates pigs. What can I tell I you? I hate them. I hate them, but I like to eat them. That's so, right. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. When they're that, alive. That uh, or if somebody already has an existing podcast, just point us toward that and say, hey, look, I do this podcast. And we'll be like, hey, that's pretty cool. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that we know like you're a real person not trolling us. I don't know. Who knows? The internet these days. <laughs> you can't trust anybody. We, <laughs> after Eric trolled everybody last week. What a pig. Well, I guess I was. Yeah. Uh, I trolled. Um, I not really trolled. Uh, joked, I guess, when up in Nashville with uh, um one one of the uh, cool agents up there, I showed them uh, Delta T, and I said, "Yeah, I got into I uh, uh, Ingress Prime." <laughs> and so they started looking at, it and they're like, "This is just—I don't know if I can play this." I felt so bad. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. Because uh, like there was other people at the table, just like you know, pretending going along with it too. And I'm like, "No, let's just tell her that it's it's not because." <laughs> I'm just really sti- starting to feel like an a hole at this point, but it's a cool trick yeah. you can do to uh, locals around where you are. Just show them Delta T and tell them it's Ingress Prime. Is that wrong? Because it is. It is very kind of like shiny and and blue. 
like uh, yeah. I don't know, like shiny and blue, kind of like the scanner. Well, and, and honestly, I think that's one of um, the reasons that uh, uh, scrapers uh, need to stop and need to go is be- they had a patch, I believe, last week, and I swear there's a ton of portals that came in on their network that are in very similar spots. I mean, they may have been using some of you know history data that that ingress started out with too uh that Mm. old uh database uh thing but a company could just get all that data from i mean a scraper could sell that data to another company right and then they Mm. just have their stuff without having to get any of that data filled up and anyway so let's keep ingress ingress and all these other uh fakers out of there because honestly it's it's a pretty crap game but (laughs) <laughs> for now yeah, it's beta well, no it's just know. it's you know it's not ingress so yeah next. well we got something from telegram next we got a twitter comment too oh a twitter comment it oh, deals okay. with telegram so la southern 328 uh asked i can't figure out how to join your telegram group on iphone and oh. so we don't really publish the link uh openly anymore just because we were getting so many spammers in and uh, you know i was sick of um boobs getting sit all around our, our telegram channel and, and having to clean up i have no problem with the the, the boobs but um you know some people do mm-hmm. and and i i want to make sure our channel is uh, at least 13 and above friendly because that's who can be playing the game um right. so uh, if you go to our Twitter, though, and look there, you can find the link there. If you know someone who's already in our TG discussion channel, you can go there. You can ask us. We'll put it on the website or something. Um, so if you need it, just let us know if you want in there, that sort of thing. Uh, True that. Maybe we should just get a mod for there, and every time it gets put onto a spam network, they can just change it for us. Oh, uh, yeah? We'll figure something out, but that's how you can yeah. get to it. Yeah, hire a vir- virtual assistant. I might do it. Okay, so we have a long one here. This is a um, Telegram comment from Agent Bob El Britannico. That's a good agent name right there. I like it. Uh, I'm sorry to change the subject, but I have a theory I would like to throw out. As we know, the new mission days will be so- some sort of hack-only activity where... Uh, you may need to interact with the portal in some way. Uh, the, su- uh, the suspicion seems to be that Prime will not play well with missions, but I don't buy that. Dun, dun, However, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I have often thought that one way to identify spoofers would be to oblige the player to interact with the portal in some way. Some way... Some way, some way, some way, some way, some, some way, way. <laughs> some way, which you could only do when you were physically present. So I wonder if Niantic is looking for a way to trial such a system. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, spoofers. Mm-mm, spoofers, mm-mm. spoofers, why you got to be so spoofers? You know, I mean, you know, what they could do is like some, well, no. So I was going to say like, so, I mean, the very act of spoofing means that your scanner is still placed in, in a location, right? It, you know, it's it's not like but an you're emulation. not there physically, right? It, so they're no, just doing it on their computer. And so emulating. like what what like you couldn't do anything physical. You couldn't prove your physicality yes. in game, but you would need someone there to prove it. So you would need a third party, right? So you'd have to be like, okay, hack this portal, or no, okay, put a, put a resonator on it. Like let me let so me watch you. You, you came up on. and signed up for the mission day and got your sheet and put down your agent name. Yeah, and, and then someone else your- did the mission without doing that. They can possibly assume that they're a spoofer. Right, right. It's such a hard thing to prove. Like right now, you've got to find them in. Um, 
two porter locations that are you know a good distance apart uh a lot faster than anyone can humanly do that right in a vehicle or whatever so if if you know it takes you know an hour to get from here to turbine right mm -hmm. um and you've thrown this field up there and you see uh, an agent hit a portal in Huntsville and then 15 minutes later they take down Turbine. Well, you know the only way they can do that is either A, spoof, or someone else log in with their ID at that location. That's pretty much the only way, right? Or they are the Flash. And I... <laughs> You know, if they're the Flash, they probably have other things they should be doing instead of playing a game. So... Yeah, like Robin Banks or something. So I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what? Nobody will see Why would come? the Flash rob some banks? Because you don't see them coming or going. They just like. Boom, but he's in a and superhero, out. not a super zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, saving lives. All right. Not eating beehives. See, you make it rhyme, and it's becomes a uh, saying that people will use. But so. Yeah, no, I think if they could find some way to uh, catch spoofers, uh, great. I just, I think it's very hard for uh, the spoofers that know what they're doing and know what not to do, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for I, I didn't know that, like, spoofing could still be performed, like... Uh, you know, I'd, like, they always find a way, like, they're they're developers are really good and they detect all kinds of software this and that and like you can't have a rooted phone and play ingress and like all this like i thought they were like it's pretty much rock solid like you can't spoof i guess you still can but you know i don't know i mean i never looked yeah. into actually trying to do it i i just would always see people getting banned and people like complaining that they couldn't and stuff so i was like yes team you know uh one point for ingress all right you know i don't know yeah but i guess there's always going to be somebody really um uh, you know, there's well, going to be like a super yeah. zero out there that's going to quit right. at nothing. But He's super zeros nothing. in Ingress can be superheroes in Pokemon Go. So <laughs> this is something I found interesting uh, from some Pokemon Go players where the, apparently, and I don't know if this is every community, but apparently they don't mind spoofers. They call them air support because they what? actually come in and help them in raids. Even though they're not there at the location to like do the raid, uh, they'll spoof to that um, raid and help them out. So they don't mind, and they're like, "Hey, thanks, you know, for helping us. Um, that's great because you need more people to to do that." So what I'm suggesting is, if you're a spoofer, quit playing Ingress and go play Pokemon Go. They'll like you there. They'll <laughs> love you there. They'll give you like. Um, uh, Pokemon balls. <laughs> right? What about Delta T? Can you spoof in Delta T? I think everybody's spoofing in Delta T. Same <laughs> with that dragon one that just completely ripped off Pokemon Go. Like, I think that's uh, yeah. the only it's people like, that play some of those games, right? It's like, I, I that's like not even worth getting out of my house to play this game. I think it's so easy to spoof in Delta T that you can accidentally spoof. <laughs> and go, oops, oh, man, I didn't even mean to. <laughs> why, why can I type in my GPS coordinates right here in the <laughs> right? tab? That's weird. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so. Oh, I got a gift. Oh. You guys yeah. want a gift out there? Well, don't look so, a gift horse in the mouth. In the pig. In so the, at the, the top horse? of the show, I was uh, mentioning that um, I got a code off of Reddit. So from uh, good old Redditor Gildan Nilsson. Gildan Nilsson? Yeah. Guile Gild Nilsson. I don't know. Are we still anyway. on the name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I will be here for another 20 minutes doing this. Mr. G. Um, so this or was Miss given, uh, this what? was posted seven days ago, but I just redeemed this right before the show and it still works. So here you go. Okay. I'm just going to do it one time. So get it, get it the first time around or rewind it later. Okay. Here it is. All lowercase letters. Of course, here, here it is. V F U three eight A K three five eight F 
S. I, th- I think you're supposed to read that out like the Zulu alphabet, or what do they call it? What's the... Oh, yeah. You know, the, Victor um, Frederick. Uh, uh, unicorn. U- unicorn, yeah. Uh, three, eight, uh, apple, kite. Kite? Cake? Oh, no. Quick, quick, the, the, now uh, there's three Ks all suddenly in their code. Like, people are typing uh, this in and going, it didn't work. Uh, and then three, F, uh, three, five, eight. Just um, rewind the show. What's F? Fred. F- Fred? What's Frank. S? Fart. Fart. Field. Uh, we should come S? up with our own alphabet with uh, ingress terms. Yeah. Not right yeah, now right. on the show live, because that would be a train wreck and... Uh, I, oh, Foxtrot. There you go. That's a, Oh, S uh, spoofing. You That's got the Foxtrots? Yeah, I think <laughs> you, you need to go do something yeah. about that. Cause. Bad case of the Foxtrots. Anyway, uh, so there it is. Uh, you'll get 10 of everything. Uh, it's pretty decent, so it's pretty nice. Anyway. And, and you know, on the old website, I'm starting a, um, a page with uh, passcodes that work, but I'm having... Um, my kids actually put them in so we can verify which ones actually still work. Cause there's like list all over the place of like passcodes. And I don't know if you've done it where you just sit there and you're like, like the first five work. And then you're like 10 minutes later, you're like, ah, I've typed in like 20 of these and now I can't do it for another uh-huh. hour or half hour, however long, um, you can't do it for, but apparently <laughs> that's just in the browser. Another spoofing thing, probably, right? Oh, yeah. uh, but you can do it on <laughs> Android, though not on the iPhone. Anyway. Oh, S is for Sierra, by the way, not not spoofing. <laughs> but in the Ingress uh, XM uh, code library thing, we're making up. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll totally have it. We'll have it made out uh, by next episode time. Episode 40. Need to use it. Uh, let's episode move 40. it on down the pike. Are we kicking some pigs? Yeah, we're going down the pike. Inconceivable! <laughs> Agents, it appears we have found something interesting. media acquired and there it is right on the ground there's some media media um, so i i am completely out of gear but i'm still not gonna pick it up because this is media yeah. well this is some cool media oh okay i'll pick it up this is Ding. the achievement for listening watching doing hearing the show this week so go nice. to agentacademypodcast.com if you are a, a member and when i say member you just sign up it's, it's not a pay thing yet so do it before it becomes a pay th- no um so go there and there's a thing on the sidebar and thanks to i believe it was agent dewey j and uh i believe uh was it bob el britannico too who helped out find uh that on mobile there wasn't the sidebar so you could enter in the codes anyway on the sidebar enter in this code and you will get an achievement for this episode it is aa zero five zero three eighteen aa so it's uh today's date book ended in the american style of dates how we do Hi. things backwards book ended uh by aas and that will get cool. you an achievement so thanks for listening cool all right then do it do we need to do this last one uh, there's not really anything in there, but uh, we can oh, okay, just because yeah. it's a bumper, right? So <laughs> I got to rename these two because I I got to show you this. Like I can't find any of them. I'm like, why? Why did I make this so crappy to look? <clears throat> Pardon me, Agent Soho, Agent Goonie Guy. I'm afraid you are needed in the Situation Room. If you could please wrap it up. It's like a freaking robot. And that door, nobody's ever going to like fix the freaking, throw some oil on it. <laughs> throw some oil on it. That, that'll fix everything. And That's then kick a pig down every- the pike. and <laughs> Answer to everything. Put some oil on it. Kick a pig. Kick a pig. 
Kick All right, so Kick <laughs> we got uh, basically that's really it. We're gonna um, we're going to debrief you now. You have seen nothing. Uh, the, you have heard nothing. Does that mean we're taking off everybody's briefs? We're gonna <laughs> and, debrief uh, them. It's, and you are wearing nothing. <laughs> uh oh, this is so. While you're wearing nothing, head on over to iTunes. Leave us a review. Call us. Uh, tweet us. Um, Facebook us. Do all the stuffs. Join us on agentacademypodcast.com and join the community there. We're starting to post uh, news when it happens in in Ingress. We'll post passcodes. Um, and if there's something you think should, we should be posting that we're not, let us know and we'll start posting because we want it to be like a, a place for, um, you know, people to get all their Ingress information if they so choose. And get some achievements along the way which are always fun badges and achievements uh, badges enjoy. and also uh i don't think we've ever really um said uh what our like personal twitters are <laughs> even though some people follow us but follow you can follow us individually too um i mean it's cool to follow us on agent academy our twitter but if you just want um our personal weird stuff that it isn't totally ingress related uh i'm eric fullerton at eric fullerton and brent is at brent copeland you could probably already figure that out but if you're made new, it very you know, if you didn't know our real names that's our real name so uh that's do that great. have fun be nice to each other um san dimas football rules also thank you to hacksaw and mr yang for being yes uh, excellent sports today appreciate it <laughs> once again kick a pig kick a pig bye bye